Everybody wants clout, but no one wants to work for it. Telling me. Uh, if I have to end up dropping the subframe, I'm gonna eat my words. But that would suck because I really don't want to. Just drop the subframe. It's super simple. What? What do we have here? We have a 2012 Honda Civic Si with a K24 six-speed manual. Uh, this is our buddy Alex's. He just picked it up not too long ago. He, uh, he went from a 98 2500 Chevy to this and uh, bottomed out and cracked his oil pan. So that's what today's video is. Right next to the Integra. So uh, bear with me here. It's kind of going to be a mess. Uh, dealership pays five hours. Okay. Um, with a lift, impacts, people that are trained on how to do this specifically. Uh, I, the only KA series that I've touched is my sister's and I just put a thermostat and radiator and such in so I haven't really been in depth to a K series. So this will actually be a learning experience for not only me, but for you guys because it's going to be a DIY of how to change the oil pan because I had no clue. So you know me, you get on YouTube, type, 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 nothing. Not, I mean like all the way up to 08 is about all you're going to get. So hopefully this will help you guys out uh, when you crack your oil pan or uh, honestly just need to change the gasket because there's a lot more into this than just dropping the oil pan and you're going to find out. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. You're good. Okay. Okay. So here we are with the 2012 Civic SI again. Uh, K24. This has been a pain. Well, all data recommends dropping the subframe and lowering the engine three to four inches. Uh, disconnect the steering U joint and the tie rods and all that junk. Um, so far, I think I might have found a way that you don't have to do any of that, actually. So what you're gonna do to start off, uh, my way was take the inner fender well out, uh, cut the zip ties that they had if it was like this one, and uh, yeah, from here, oh, maybe you're gonna see the serpentine system, which is good. Okay, so the first step will obviously be drain your oil. We'll have to jack it up, put it on jack stands. Drain your oil, and then take the clutch cover off. It is a 10 millimeter bolt here and a 10 millimeter bolt here. Uh, that'll give you access to the clutch area to inspect the clutch. Uh, let me get a flashlight going because that's kind of tricky. But, um,. Underneath of the clutch cover will be a 10 millimeter there and a 10 millimeter there. Then there will be, these are all 10s by the way, uh, I'll just specify otherwise. Another one there, 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 right there. Underneath of the motor mount is two of them. Uh, the motor mount has to come off, I believe, I can't remember, uh, 17 millimeter. Uh, get those two, but don't forget your 14 millimeter right there and right where is it? Oh, bastard. Right there. Uh, and then more tens um, all the way throughout here. I haven't gotten them completely out for the sake of the video. Uh, and then this is where it gets complicated, and this is why they have to drop the subframe. So the other three bolts. Okay. Uh, the other three bolts are right here, straight up, right here, straight up, and right there, straight up. I'll show you. Maybe. What I did instead of dropping the subframe, if I can get my phone in there, is I used a wrench. I took the serpentine belt off while I loosened it. Uh, the tensioner up at the top. Unlooped it off the tensioner so I'd have room. There's a 10 mil right there. One right there. And one right there. Uh, right there. I'm going to zoom in here. Oop, too far. Right there. That is a little ear that you wedge a flathead screwdriver in and twist and it'll pop it off. What's that? What's good guys? I'm uh, would be helping but uh, making some ribs. Making some ribs because it's like 70 out here. It's in Ohio so we don't get that very often. 
Uh, if I have to end up dropping the subframe, I'm gonna eat my words, but that would suck because I really don't want to. All right, so when I get the oil pan off, I will update you guys. Deuces. We got Alex in the house now, back from work. Luke's up, uh, seven o'clock. Uh, okay, so my theory of avoiding the subframe drop kind of shit itself. Uh, I got the oil pan most of the way off. I, you can't really see because I don't have a light. Uh, it got pretty dark pretty quick. Uh, yeah, you can kind of tell. Luke's on my creeper. But... It's most of the way off. But there's just about, I'd say, half inch of the oil pan catching. <laughs> Alrighty, what's up ladies and gents? Alright, so it turns out Honda wins. Alright, so I got the engine lifted. Uh, about three inches. Put wood under there so it wouldn't fall back down because I... I thought I'd have a good idea and jack it up by the oil pan. Which it was a good idea. But then I was like, oh, I don't have anything to hold it. So that's my uh, engine stand. It just drops a subframe. It's super simple. Um, there's also a bracket that does indeed have to come off at some point. I'm laying on this creeper very awkwardly, so bear with me. This bracket right here has to come off of the body uh, to allow the subframe to drop and almost kill you, but the jag catch it. So, yeah. Um, that's as far as I needed to go. Right there. And this is the back side of the subframe on the driver's side. And with the oil pan resting against the subframe, right before it dropped, I pushed up right here on this point, right there. I pushed up real hard, um, basically pivoted the front right down, picked up the back left, you know, weight transfer stuff, and it allowed the oil pan to drop and free. So I did not even loosen this motor mount, probably would have helped, but kind of, not really, because that's how much clearance I have right there um, before it started really, the motor started pushing into things. So. Um, didn't loosen that one. I took this one completely out, the strut stabilizer, which is right there. I uh, took it out, I had the ground on it, and then, uh, which is 317 mil uh, bolts, and uh, then the 17 mil there, right there, that holds it to the body, and it's all good. Over here, I don't really know how any of you guys feel about your Hondas, but they use their Honda Permatex as a gasket. That engine, I pulled the original oil pan off, threw it in the yard over there, I'd show you. Um, had Permatex, you know. Never been changed. No, just metal to metal Permatex. Uh, I'm using Permatex's Ultra Black underneath of this gasket on the pan mating side. And then I'm going to do the four corners, which I don't know if you guys know, or you probably do, uh, right there right here, which this one's going to be tricky because you got to find the pressure surface. But since this is the clutch cover, the pressure surface is going to be right here. So this is in between these two bolts is where it's going to be pushing the most amount of pressure um, after torque. So right there is one corner. Right there is one corner. Obviously, that's definitely, that's literally a corner. And then right here. So I have Permatex under here, 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 because we had to cut the gasket because, I don't know, AutoZone. Uh, here, here, right up here, and then there. So, that's all that came out to be. I'll never, um, do another one of these for free again. Like, I mean, just because it's my best friend. I'll do his again, uh, for free. I don't care. But, like, if it's just a buddy, you know, this is my best friend, lifelong, grown up, whatever. So, uh... He's got my back, I got his. Um, I don't know, he's basically a brother, so this is me helping more family out. And uh, listen, always listen to how the dealer does it, because the dealer has the quickest way, because they're all about time. So dropping the subframe would have shaved probably an hour off my time right now. I probably would have been closer to being done, actually. That would probably be already up, dried, cured. So I'll see you guys in the next video, or the next part of this video, I haven't decided if I'm going to, I'll probably do a finishing product, but this is basically how you do an oil band. Uh, it's not completely straightforward, but I can wrap it up real quick. 
10 mil bolts all the way off the oil pan, drop the subframe. Motor mount comes off on the passenger side. Didn't even touch the driver's side motor mount. Uh, the two brackets that hold the subframe on, that's it. A three inch drop is all you need at all. That's it. You know, said and done, and I'm gonna get back under there. My scar. <laughs> Not to go anywhere. Yeah, don't go anywhere. Logan zipped up. Is he actually? I said, what? Is it going forward? No. You good? I mean, if it is leaking, we can't see it. So it's not there. All right. Yep. We're good. We're good. Sassy. Sass. Come here, baby. Huh? What? Ooh. I am. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Okay, you're good. Okay. I'm not afraid